Millions uh, was created by myself and Rob Young uh, from Dust of Dawn in Nottingham. We have been doing £1 million guaranteed tournaments for a long time and we also uh, were responsible for the ISPT at Wembley. Um, we learnt a lot from that. We gave a million euros to the winner there and we did a payout based on million euros first place. And we realised that if we're ever going to do a million pounds, we need to have a £5 million guarantee to do a full payout. So to do that, there aren't enough players uh, at, at the 5,000 buy-in level. You, there aren't a 1,000 players. So the, the best way to do it is to combine the bankrolls. So we came up with the two levels of buy-in, um, 500 and, and 5,000. And uh, we then increased the, the, the guarantee to six, 6 million so that we could actually pay more places. Um, but it should appeal to everybody. You have the option to win your entry uh, on Party Poker from as little as one cent. Um, many players have done this. Um, we've been running online day ones since last October and we've already collected 1.7 million uh, through, through the people that played the online uh, phase ones. Uh, we've also did a day one in the Caribbean and that got 143 players. Um, we had 88 come through um, from the uh, phase ones that we ran and we had 55 direct binds. Um, so the concept has definitely taken off, and it, it, but it is very unique. As you know, we roll the blinds back twice. So this enables the players that buy in for 500 get 200 big blinds, but so do the players who buy in for 5,000. So it's, it's directly related. You get 100,000 chips starting at 250, 500, or you get a million chips starting at 2,500, 5,000. The great thing about this is if you play the phase ones, you could actually come through with much higher than average stack. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, if you, you know, years ago, you'd have 10,000 chips and the blinds would start 2550, which is 200 big blinds. So the fact you get 100,000 chips um, and, and the blinds start 25500 is still 100, uh, 200 big blinds. So, but what, because it's called millions, we thought it'd be pretty cool that on day one you get a million chips. Um, and we, we obviously, um, it has to be relative. So the, the guy that, that pays uh, 500 pounds or 600 euros, he, he gets 200 big blinds. And the guy that pays 5,000 pounds, 6,000 euros, he gets 200 big blinds. So, uh, you know, it, it basically everybody has the option of at what point they want to join in the tournament. And then what we wanted to do, because we run high rollers in Dust or Dawn, and like we did the Delfish Cup last year, we guaranteed a million pounds. Um, and in previous years, we'd only done 50,000. Um, and we did um, a million pounds. We needed 200 players and we exceeded it. We, I think we got just over, we got 204. Um, and what we did is we, we only played six levels on day one. And on, um, on level seven was uh, equivalent to 50 big blinds. Um, so we decided to take that concept and, and use it in this tournament as well. So even on um, day two, you can buy in at 10, you get a million chips and you can buy in it, and the, it's 50 big blinds is the starting. So, you know, it, I, I think you'll be amazed how many people will buy in on day two. Because obviously once you make day three, you're in the money. So like all the players here, uh, we had 68 come back. We've had nine people uh, have bought in uh, so far for, for the 6,000 euros. Um, and when they, about half the field will go through to day three and I'm expecting around about 40% of those to come to Nottingham. Um, so they'll all receive um, 6,000 euros minimum payout, plus they were at 750 euros travel expenses. So that, now that doesn't come from the prize pool, we add that. So there's many, many new features that, that we've created with this event. Hit these guarantees with one bankroll, aiming at one bankroll. There are not 12,500 pound players, and there are not 1,200, 5,000 pound players. So the only way that we can achieve these massive guarantees is to be attractive to all players. And that's what uh, we've uh, come up with with millions. Dustle Dawn is uh, on the outskirts of the city, uh, but it was a purposely built card room. So when you go in, it's it's like a theatre type. It's on three levels, so it's quite an amazing uh, place to play. They, they won't have experienced anything like it. Most places you go to, uh, like here in St Vincent, is split up, whereas at Dustle Dawn, the majority of the players are going to play in one area. Now, because of um, the size of the fields that we're expecting, we're also adding a marquee, with, which will have an additional 32 tables, so there'll be 75 tables. Um, we also have additional marquee just for hospitality um, to create all of that. Outside, um, because we're on the outskirts, we're in this estate which has a park with bowling and cinema, 12 screen cinema and three restaurants. Um, and then when you go into the city, there's many, many bars. It's a big, it's a big city, you know, so um, there's, there's lots to see. There's a castle there and obviously you've got Robin Hood. So if you were to go a little bit outside, you've got Sherwood Forest. Um, but uh, there, are, there are caves underneath the city. It's very cultural, fantastic place. <laughs> Absolutely delighted with the turnout that we've had in St Vincent. I really didn't think it was going to be as popular at this very first one. You have to remember that uh, these guys that are playing today, tomorrow, they're going to be playing the first ever day two. 
Um, you know, we have had a day one in the Caribbean in Punta Cana, but we've never had a day two. So these players are going to be the very first players uh, to, to make day three and to make a, a minimum payout. Um, the, the numbers have been astonishing. I can only say, you know, massive thank you to Paolo and, and his whole team, Tilt Events. Um, and I think San Remo is going to be even bigger. I think they, they about, there was about 5% non-Italian players here. I would expect probably 15-20% um, will be coming to San Remo. And um, I think that the impetus that the event is getting will, will lead us to be able to create something even bigger next year. To be honest with you, I think um, we wouldn't just go to 10 million, we'd probably be looking to go to 20, 25 million and uh, really you know, uh, set Europe alight and, get, and give the players in Europe the opportunity to play a tournament that is, you know, uh, it's the same, similar size to, to the World Series main event. You know, I mean, they're up to 60 million now, but in dollars. Um, you know, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could create an event in Europe that, that started to match those sort of figures?